The fourth generation Ford Focus puts its maker right back into contention in the family hatchback segment, with smarter looks, much improved interior quality and extra technology. There's also greater efficiency beneath the bonnet from a completely rejuvenated range of engines and what Ford claims to be class-leading levels of safety. The best part, though, is that this car still remains as rewarding to drive as it's always been. The Focus might have grown up, but it certainly hasn't lost its spark. This fourth generation Focus, like its predecessors, has a reputation as a family hatchback with the ability to entertain at the wheel. And if you enjoy your driving, that's something you'll appreciate pretty early on the first time you try one. 20 years ago, the original version of this model achieved much the same thing by standardizing advanced multi-link rear suspension across its model lineup. Today, you only get that on the most powerful 1.5 litre EcoBoost petrol and 2 litre EcoBlue diesel variants. If, on the other hand, you go for the 1.5 litre EcoBlue diesel, or more likely the 1 litre EcoBoost petrol engine we're trying here, then the damping's a little different. These volume models come with a much less sophisticated torsion beam arrangement, though Ford has embellished it with the clever force vectoring rear axle springs that it first developed for its Fiesta ST hot hatch. As a result, the ride isn't overly firm, but body control through the bends is still exemplary, allowing you at the wheel to make the most of the stiff new C2 platform, the feelsome power steering, and the torque vectoring control system that helps you get the power down through the bends. It all combines to create a car that really can still reward at the wheel, even in its most affordable forms. There's still nothing else in this segment that feels quite the same yet it still does the sensible stuff well too, being decently refined with confident braking and a lovely tactile gear shift. Efficiency is up to scratch, even if you select one of the mainstream petrol engines, all of which are three cylinders in size. Most tend to go for the one litre unit we're trying here, offered with either 85, 100 or 125 PS. The latter option, which is what I'm driving now, uh, manages 58.9 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and 108 grams per kilometre of CO2. That's providing you select the most frugal of the three provided standard driving modes, Eco, Normal and Sport settings are also available. The quicker power plants can be ordered with the option of Ford's latest 8-speed auto gearbox, which adapts to your driving style. Here's a car that's grown up matured in almost every way. You might, like us, wish that Ford had been a touch more adventurous about this fourth generation Focus model's design, but you can see at a glance that it better meets the key criteria for the kind of car a family hatchback should be. The wheels are further apart, the glass area is larger, the overhang shorter. All of this part of the brand's current human-centric design philosophy. Now, to some extent, that works. Put this improved focus next to its predecessor, and it certainly looks a more expensive proposition. Let's take a seat up front, where Ford hopes you'll find the ambience of this fourth generation model much more inviting. To that end, the dashboard has been pulled forward, and there's a slimmer lower centre console, plus that new body shell has freed up more room for shoulders and knees. As a result, you no longer feel quite so hemmed in at the wheel. But by the same token, there's also slightly less of the cockpit-style positioning that we rather liked before. You can't fault the cleaner, sharper ergonomics, though, aided by a massive 50% reduction in button clutter, with as many functions as possible relocated to this prominent SYNC 3 infotainment screen that, in keeping with current automotive fashion, sprouts from the top of the dash. All of which is interesting, but perhaps not quite so fundamentally significant as the changes which have taken place further back in this fourth generation model. The space on offer here certainly doesn't redefine what the family hatchback segment can offer, but it does at least now typify it. In a Focus, backseat folk are at last now treated much as they would be in a rival Golf, thanks to 56mm more knee clearance, 78mm more leg room and 60mm more shoulder room.
We'll finish with a look at the boot, which also upgrades itself to meet the class standard this time round, offering 341 litres of capacity if you load to window level, or 375 litres with a tyre repair kit fitted. Now, a typically specified estate model fitted with a mini spare offers up to 575 litres. Fold down the 60-40 split folding rear backrest and between 1,250 and 1,320 litres of space can be freed up in this hatch model, depending on the size of spare wheel you decide upon. An estate fitted with a mini spare will give you up to 1,620 litres. Has any car had more of an impact on modern era motoring than the Ford Focus? Other manufacturers can better this car in some regards, but they still can't make their family hatchback contenders drive like a Focus. It's true that there are some caveats in that regard. The lower powered models with their more basic torsion beam suspension setup don't have quite as fluid a feel as those further up the range that feature the control blade multi-link rear damping system. Even in its most basic form though, this Focus remains an entertainer at heart. A car you'll feel at one with thanks to its progressive body control and steering precision. As a result, it's still a default pick amongst family hatchbacks if you like your driving. But not everyone does. Many family hatchback folk are buying a car of this kind simply because it ticks the right boxes for safety, practicality and running costs. And I have a suspicion that it's these people who will have their perceptions most changed by this much improved Mark IV model. They may, like us, wonder why it couldn't have been just a touch more visually interesting and wish for a slightly more classy cabin but they'll certainly like the responsively frugal new generation engines, the higher safety standards, the improved quality, and the fact that at long last, there's decent rear passenger and luggage space. In short, if you can afford the asking prices, you'll find that here's a family hatchback that now has its priorities right. A car that's grown up, but one that still knows how to enjoy itself. Smarter and more sensible, it is more than ever number one for a reason.